You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 500. Now the direction? Set the direction east. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. Try again. I know there's a message out there. If you say so. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction west. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Thanks for the information. Just doing my job. Yes, sir? The radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is... It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... Okay. Agent, his file paints a different we picture. We going on another wild goose chase, Director? Not this time, Agents. Because I brought in an expert agent who I expect to turn the tide. Allow me to introduce your new senior agent, 
Miss Angela Weaver. Agent Weaver, please begin. Good evening, agents. Now, we have reason to believe our target is... <laughs> is this some kind of joke? I assure you, I do not joke about potential infiltra... Come on, miss. Get back to reception and leave the real work to us, okay? Agent Percy, watch your tone. Director, how many concrete cases of the Outsiders have your agents uncovered to this date? That would be zero. And how many have I uncovered in my own investigation? Two confirmed, one pending. Thank you, Director. Is Speak of the devil. Carter, good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah. But you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. The brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you one of the nation's best weapons. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. Welcome aboard, sir. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. You lost, pal? Well, ready room's that way. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll tell him right away. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research in high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help, quick and quiet. This is a list of available agents. Falk has gathered everyone he could find from all the agencies. All of them specialists, all of them the best at what they do.
I chased the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Carter, head through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. This plasma burn is bad. I saw the much Christ, Nils. Do not grieve. He died well. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. This world is no longer yours. But you will learn. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate that you will not be here to witness it. Yeah, well I know one truth that you don't. And what is that? You're surrounded. Cease fire, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Good work. You and Agent Nils, report to... Nils is dead. 
I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me in ops. We've got work to do. You get him, Carter? Yeah. I got him. Oh, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nils. He's gone. Damn it. I should have been there. Listen, uh, I gotta head out. Director's got us on a recon mission. When I get back, we'll raise a glass to Nils. All right. Good luck, Agent De Silva. I don't need luck. And the name's Nico. Will. There you are, Agent Carter. Just a moment, please. If you will spare a moment, I am Dr. Heinrich Dresner, and I have been expecting you. That's nice, Doc, but I got a report to... I assure you, Herr Falk will be glad that we spoke. After all, we shall need new weapons to fight this war, and my laboratory shall be where they are created. Any weapons you retrieve from the field, we will be glad to study and convert for your use. You know much about these outsiders and their technology? I have been working with Herr Folk for nearly as long as he has suspected their existence. And since the attack, I have had so much more material to study. Try not to sound so cheerful, Doc. We lost a lot of good men that day, and we just lost another. I am sorry, William, but I hope to prevent more losses just as you do. In fact, I came here to give you this. Our first discovery. Sure, but what is it? The Venbrace was designed for close-range attacks, to augment your fisticuffs. Against a wounded target, its effects can be devastating. But more importantly, it can be modified to allow the capture and use of the outsider weaponry. This could have come in useful a few minutes ago. Ah, but you cannot simply take their weapons. First, you must find one that has not yet been imprinted to the enemies. Every minute we waste could mean another life. My apologies, William. Just take the brace, and I will let you know when it can help us. Thanks, Doc. And maybe our new research subject can help with your next breakthrough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go speak with the director. Thank you, William. Come back anytime. Agent Carter, your report. The bastard got Nils. This cannot happen again, Falk. Killing Nils? Christ, we're lucky that's all he managed to do. Agent Nils' loss will be felt throughout the organization. But right now, we have bigger problems. His... loss? God damn it, we need to stop these bastards. And we need to do it now, do you understand that? Calm yourself, Agent. We all agree they have to be stopped. I believe that our best hope for doing so is to recover Dr. Alan Weir from Rosemont University. No, what we need to do is put a stop to the enemy. Agreed. And we can do both. There's been another attack. The target is Rosemont University. A civilian target? Why? Because Dr. Weir's research can tell us what the enemy wants, how they think, and how to stop them. We need him on the team if we want to survive. 
And you know better than anyone that surviving is the first step to striking back. All right. Let's go get him. Good man. When you're ready, bring up the tactical map on that terminal, and your team will be dispatched. Make sure you've got everything in order around the base. Team selected, weapons set, no outstanding business. You never know how long you'll be out on a mission. Or if you'll come back at all. I'm all too aware of that, sir. They're hitting us from all sides. We've yet to discern a pattern driving the invasion, but we have managed to assign mission priorities. As potential missions and reports come in, they'll be posted here. And I'll trust you to select which is the most pressing. Flight report anti-aircraft in RLV. We're gonna have to test down on the southeast edge of the town. Do we have support down there? Nothing on the ground. Rosemont was hit at the same time as Groom Range. Never saw it coming. Jesus. Clear the AAA first. I won't be able to support you or evac the doctor until it's down. Understood. All right, ready up. Carter, I found a place to set down a couple of clicks away. I'm grounded until that AA gun is out of commission. Getting the doctor won't do us much good if you can't get us out of here. That's a solid copy, Carter. Understood. First we take out the AA gun and get you back in the air. Then we find Dr. Weir and get him out of here. Came from the diner. Eyes peeled, weapons ready. Let's go. Can't be happy. You there? You all right? Hey! C can't be happy. Oh Hold Christ! Everyone's Hold fire. Dead. Everyone, everyone's dead. Falk, can you hear this? There's somebody here. Looks like one of the infected, but he's not hostile. It's like he's just... I don't know... switched off. We'll need to examine him after the area is secure. Your priority is Dr. Weir. Keep moving. Well, good morning, Earl. Oh, not great, darling. I must be coming down with that bug. Oh, and on the big day? Bad luck. You just sit right down and I'll get you a hot cup of tea. Uh, you're a real lifesaver, Becky. Come on, girl. Pull yourself together. Ain't no cold gonna keep you from that parade. Here you go, Earl. Grandma always says there's nothing so bad it can't be solved by. Earl, you never told me there was gonna be fireworks today. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
My God, these people never had a chance. You got a 20 on that AA gun? Still working through the streets. It's a mess down here. 